Y'all, this your boy King Ed, the great AK Rick Capo, coming at y'all with another video. And my question to y'all is, do y'all feel a bit disturbed when looking at that Vlad interview that he did with Chai Ali? That interview had me feeling a sort of way, man, because why would you have that man relive killing his own brother? Like, he already told this story several times. Why would you want him to revisit that story again? And what is it there to gain? I'm looking at a lot of the headlines in regards to that interview because it's recommended to me. And it's mostly talking about his negative. Like, who he stole and carjacked or who he killed. I'm telling y'all, man, this Vlad TV thing is a cancer. And see, he's luring us in by putting a lot of your favorites up there. Which is, I don't understand why a lot of these niggas keep on going on there and you're giving this dude so much clout. A part of it possibly could be that management is recommending it because I believe that Vlad is heavily tied to TMZ. So, that's extra exposure on their behalf, I guess, but it makes me feel a sort of way. Just like when he leaked this You God interview. I didn't know that this You God interview he did last year. So now, he puts it out now as soon as the Wu-Tang documentary is catching fire. And he's showing you God just shitting on RZA through the whole interview. But yet, you God and RZA are good now. That was like last year. So I'm like, dude, why didn't you put the thing out last year? Now you're trying to create friction on the clan. And it's the same thing that he did when he uploaded Raekwon's video shitting on RZA. So I'm like... What is the ulterior motive? You want to just see brothers beef. You just want to see brothers fight. You don't want to push for unification because you know if you push for unification, there's not going to be no clout for you. And another issue I'm having is with how people want to take on the little guy. And let me just be make this clear. I'm not a big fan of academics, DJ academics. <coughs> but... I bet you if DJ Academics was doing this stuff, a lot of these industry dudes would have tore his head off. If DJ Academics was on Everyday Struggle and he was asking Shah Ali these same questions, I bet you half of these rappers would want to smack Academics. They would want to tie him up. They want to kick him in the ass. But with Vlad, you don't hear a peep. These niggas is quiet as church mice. So, the way I'm looking at it is, they looking at it like the white man ice is much colder. That's the problem that I'm having with Vlad TV right now. It's like, and people should know that by now. Anybody that's going on there, they should recognize what he's all about. So you can't sit there and get mad going up there and you get upset with your words being twisted a sort of way. Or his main headline is you talking smack about another artist or another person. You know what you're doing going up there. You know what he's all about. So, a part of that responsibility has to be on the guest. Now, you know what this dude is all about. So, you can only blame yourself. But I'm not feeling this interview right now, man. I mean, of all the positive things that Shy Ali is possibly doing, Vlad wants to focus more on his negative state of being. And I'm like, dude, nobody want to hear that no more. But at the same time, he has an audience. And his audience, and, the, and that audience loves, you know, buffoonery. So he feeds them that. But the question is, so we thought, okay, what are we going to do about it? We got to support the, the black content creators. Mr. Rec, Fred Rec TV, uh, Doggy Diamonds. Murder Master Music Show, Die For Radio, Off The Cuff Radio, The Gonzo TV Podcast, Unscripted Network. There's a lot of networks we can support, man. Y'all need to give this cat that clout, man. I'll give DJ Academics that clout before.